Hi guys, I'm Megan. And I'm Brian. And welcome to our channel, The, the Screaming Pugs. <laughs> okay, welcome back to another Screaming Pug cooking challenge. Today we're going to make a cheesecake. It's going to be a caramel cheesecake, I think. It's caramel cheesecake, this is important. <laughs> so the recipe we found is really simple. It's like... I think five or six ingredients to make it so we're hoping this turns out well and we hope you guys can follow along so let's get right into it you will need 200 grams of vanilla cookies 125 milliliters of butter 460 grams of cream cheese 360 grams of caramel 50 milliliters of gelatin and lukewarm water you will need an electric mixer a cake pan measuring spoon a whisk and a mixing bowl These are the ingredients we used. Naturally, you have to see what your country has available, but this is just an example to give you guys an idea. First, we have to crush all the cookies to make the cookie crust, and then you have to add the melted butter. Mix it well and place it in your cake tray. Place it in the fridge till set. Place the cream cheese and the caramel in your mixing bowl and mix it well together with the electric whisk. Make sure your mixture is well combined before you continue to the next step. Mix the gelatin into the lukewarm water to completely combine. As soon as you're done with the gelatin, add it to the cream cheese mixture and mix until it is completely combined. Now for the last step, pour your cream cheese mixer on top of your cookie crust. Try to spread it out evenly as possible. And now for the magic to happen. Place your cheesecake into the fridge and let it sit for about 15 to 30 minutes. The longer it stands, the thicker it will get.
And now for the taste test. Okay, welcome back guys. Um, there's nothing really we can show you. Um, we ate everything. Like everything. <laughs> like it's shameful but we did. Yeah. It was really good. Like I've I've tried like me personally, I have tried making cheesecake so many times. And every time it's bitter or too cheesy mm. or everyone's just complaining about it, they don't like it. So this is like the first cheesecake I think I slash we made that actually tastes like something. Yeah, you know, our previous one wasn't that good. Uh, but yeah, this one was actually <laughs> really awesome. Yeah. It's it's really easy to make. Like I expected it to either like taste bad or just be a complete like disaster. But it came out perfectly. It yeah. was easy to remove from the tray, which is always like my number one fear that I'm just gonna try and take it out and everything collapses into the plate. So that was good. Even a guy like me that can't cook, I it was really easy actually. Yeah. Like, was it really like, too many steps to follow? Yeah, if, if you can mix things, I yeah. think you're safe. Yeah, pretty safe. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We would definitely recommend making this cheesecake. If you like cheesecake, go for it. If you don't like cheesecake, do it. <laughs> and also, please remember to like and subscribe, and also click that bell icon at the bottom. It will really help us a lot. Please. please. <laughs> Bye. Bye.